born again, rebirth is what I prefer to call it, is always a matter of refocusing. Yes, says Jesus, I want you to refocus your life on my cross. Luke chapter 9 verse 23 says, take up your cross daily. And of course, yes, that's Jesus speaking there. Who am I? This verse follows Jesus' very first prediction of the Passion. And there are a string of them. Jesus said these words, mind you, not just to some people, not just to certain people. No, he said them to everyone. So what's happening here? Well, Luke, the evangelist, the gospel writer, is alerting the entire community to the call of Jesus. It's a matter, really, of identifying with what is in store for Jesus and, two, how we realize the promise of the gospel. It's been a long time a coming, what, a year and a half or so? But last week, for the very first time, I took tickets at a softball game in the community where I work, and I loved it, honestly, missed it a lot over all of these months. I had a ton of fascinating uh, conversations, which I live for, and one of my favorite was with Father Kelly. He's the pastor at the Catholic Church just down the block from the church that I serve. It was fun to see him, fun to see his smile, and even more fun to look at him and say, Father, what are you doing here? This, this was his exact response. He said, well, I looked at my watch and I had 20 minutes on my hands before my next meeting. So I thought I'd come down here. Yeah, I see him at activities like that all the time. I can appreciate what he said because I know that he sees those things as a part of his calling. It's how he lives out that whole thing about cross-bearing, about discipleship. He cares about what young people and their families are up to. So even with a teeny tiny amount of time on his hands, he came down to the fields just to see what everybody was up to. It's awesome, isn't it? And that really is what refocusing is all about. It, it's what Jesus meant when he said, I want you to refocus your life on my cross. And of course, yes, you know I'm going to say this. It's also what grace to go is all about. Thank you.